Hi, and welcome to this Power Up webinar on scripting inside DVD Studio Pro. Now you can create wonderful DVDs without ever touching a script, but what scripting allows you to do is to create a DVD that has choices built into it, which could create actions that you couldn't do by simply clicking a button and watching a track. That's what I want to talk about today, to show you what the power of scripting and stories can do to a DVD. The goals for this session are to define stories and scripts, show you how to use GPRMs and SPRMs, and along the way we'll explain what they are, show you how to use the log for debugging your scripts, and provide step-by-step -step examples using stories and scripts that you can apply to your own DVDs. Now as a note, this online tutorial assumes that you have a working knowledge of DVD Studio Pro. If you need to refresh your understanding, please view a webinar that we did a while ago called Webinar Number 35, From High Def Video to Standard Def DVD. That'll show you how to start DVD Studio Pro, how to create a track, how to create menus, import objects, all the rest of the stuff that you need to know. This tutorial builds on that basic knowledge. Couple definitions. A story defines a portion of a track which can be accessed like a standalone track. Stories are tied to a specific track and don't duplicate media. In fact, you can have 99 stories on one track. The cool thing about a story is that they play from one marker to the next marker, which means you can essentially re-edit your entire track through stories without having to add any more media to your DVD. A script is a simple step-based element that allows a DVD to make choices during playback based upon the parameters that you set. Scripts are standalone objects, just like menus or tracks. However, scripts are not the most intelligent thing. I mean, if you're used to HTML coding or really professional programming, scripts are going to be very simplistic because they only have a TV for a brain. So the scripts that we're going to create generally are like three, four, five steps. They're not really long. And they're step-by-step -step based, which means you can easily follow them through while they're executing. Couple key terms, GPRM and SPRM. A GPRM is a Global Parameter Register Memory, which nobody remembers. These are the variables that you can set. The SPRM, which stands for System Parameter Register Memories, are the variables that DVD Studio Pro sets and the DVD sets during playback. Within scripts, there are three operations that we're going to use over and over again. There's NOP, set GPRM, and jump. A NOP means nothing happens, no operation. It's like a placeholder. Set GPRM is how we place a value into a variable. And the three that we're going to use the most will be add, move, and ran. Add adds a value to an existing GPRM variable. Move replaces a GPRM variable with another value. And ran creates a random number. And generally, when we create random numbers, we're creating random numbers within a range, setting the minimum and the maximum value. Jump takes us to a specific location. Generally, we're jumping to a menu or a track. And we also generally use it as part of an if-then statement. If a specific value is true, then jump to this menu. If a different value is true, then jump to that track jumps allow us to move from a script to a location. This is a list of probably the four most important SPRM variables. Now think of these as, as names instead of calling it Fred and George and Ethel and Wilma. It's SPRM0. That's the name of that variable. It determines the menu language preference for that DVD. And there's a lot of choices here, so you want to check out the DVD Studio Pro manual to give you a reference for lookup values. SPRM1 tracks the current audio stream number, and this ranges from 0 to 7. SPRM2 tracks the current subtitle stream number. If the subtitles are off, this number is from 0 to 31, because DVD Studio Pro supports up to 32 subtitle tracks. Or if the subtitles are on, it's a number from 64 to 95. SPRM8, though, is the one we'll probably use the most. It references the last clicked button number. And the way that the SPRM8 value is calculated is you take the button number, multiply it by 1024. So button position 1 returns a value of 1024. 
Button position 2 returns a value of 2048. Button position 3 is 3 times 1024, or 3072. For today, we're going to principally be working with SPRM8 values. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a story and a script, how to create and partition GPRM variables, and why you would want to or not want to partition them, how to use the log to monitor your script, how to read SPRM variables, how to use SPRM variables to learn what button was clicked, how to export and import your scripts for use again later. Then we'll create a script that automatically plays one of two or three stories at the end of a menu. I'll write another script which tests which button was clicked and then do something to it. We'll create a button menu which turns subtitles on or off. Up until this week, I was going to build this most incredible script to turn subtitles on and off, only I discovered that there's this really cool feature inside DVD Studio Pro that makes it really easy, and I want to show that to you. Because I've been using DVD Studio Pro now for five years, I didn't know that was there. This is just way too cool to pass up, so I'm going to show it to you. Then we'll write a script which switches between subtitle languages, and we'll do a script which creates a play-all script. This will be the biggest script we create. So with that sort of uh, where we're going, let's get started. 